So our uh, our battery backup for the uh, sump pump arrived yesterday. So we'll be installing that, getting that put together sometime over the next couple of days, probably. Probably won't get it all done today, but got a few other things I got to take care of. Uh, yeah, we'll talk you through that. We have our pump spy power converter. What that's going to be able to do is provide 120 AC to uh, not only the sump pump, but the dehumidifier as well to provide a continuous source of power in the event that we have a momentary outage course our deep cycle battery that's going to provide the DC power and it's also charged by uh, the power at the pumps by power unit so let's get to work okay so the manufacturer has us installing at 36 inches above the ground so we'll wall mount that and then let's uh, get it. Okay, so also I did buy the, uh, the battery box. Not a big fan of battery acid. Uh, and who knows, but, uh, possibly little ones down in the basement. Uh, don't really want to touch anything. That's why we put the, the lid on the uh, sump as well, so just in case the little Little baby signs get downstairs, they, uh, they don't hurt us. So what we were able to do here is provide a battery backup, uh, essentially a UPS underneath the power supply for both the dehumidifier uh, and the sump pump. The sump pump had failed uh, earlier in the summer this year. Uh, the pump motor burned out, there was a, uh, a sock stuck in there. So we cleaned the sump up, replaced the pump. Uh, but in the event that we do have a power outage, um, we're able to provide a power supply for a limited period of time. And also, uh, the fact that we do typically have two to three power outages in a given week that are five seconds or less. Uh, most times are undetectable, but I find often when I come downstairs, the dehumidifier has to be started after having lost power. So this will provide us with a resource to keep that dehumidifier running at all times. And in the event that we do have a power outage and the sump does begin to take on water, we get weeping here in the basement too, you can see that. Um, very, that very little accumulates. Uh, what happened in the spring was the sump had actually filled with water due to saturation in the yard out in front of the house. So, uh, next step is we're going to provide some uh, sensors, some water sensors on the floor in here. Uh, that will be able to alert us and I also have to put a UPS for our Wi-Fi source on the first floor so that our water sensors can alert us to the fact that uh, water is beginning to collect on the basement.